Let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna do some chess, man. Yeah, let's get it shaking, baby. Let's go. Yeah, man, let's get right into the workout, man. Let's not wait, let's not play around. Let's get right into it. Let's go, let's go. A nice little workout in. Get my chest looking real good for the summertime, man. <laughs> Let's get it going, though. Mm. Yeah, man. I don't know what you guys are doing out there today, man, but every day is a nice day to work out, man. Every single day is a great day to work out. You wake up, God give you another day. Please make the best out. Make the best out of your day, man. Work out, help somebody out. Do something kind for your neighborhood. Do something kind for your community. Just be a good person, you know, every single day. Don't try to be a good person, just be a good person. Don't try, just do, for real. I'm always hearing people saying, I'm trying. No, you're not. I'm trying to stop smoking, I'm trying to stop drinking, just do. Stop the bullshit, but I'm trying, Just, just do it. Just stop drinking, just stop smoking. Oh, but it's easier said than done, man. It's all a bunch of excuses. Just stop trying and do. That's it, just do it. Whatever happens, happens. Don't worry about the, the outcome. People, is worried too, people are too worried about the outcomes. Just do it. Once you know that you're not doing anything to hurt anybody in any way, shape or form, once you know you're, once you know you're not damaging nothing or damaging nobody, just get up and do it, man. Stop thinking so much about it. Just stop thinking about it. How is what's the outcome? How is gonna come out or what's gonna happen? Listen, stop thinking and just do. Stop trying and just do. Just do it. It's for real.
if more people out there would just get up and get it on, there'll be less people dying of fucking stress in this world. Just get up and do it, man. Straight like that. Good. I felt real good. If you're out there, if you're out there, man, and you're looking for somebody to help you out with training, with your diet, just help you out to make better choices, to live a healthier lifestyle, just help you out reduce to balance your blood pressure you know i'm your guy man just message me email me it's all in the description in the bottom of the video you know my email you can smell you can message me on the video you could dm me i'm not hard to find man you know so if you're out there and you could afford somebody to help you make gains in the gym somebody could help you cut weight you know i was one of those people that we've i was one of those people that used to be 400 pounds you know what i mean i know how it is to be fat i know how it is to be obese i know how to i know how it is man to be walking for 10 minutes and then you have to stop because you're breathing too hard i'm what i i used to be one of those people so if you're looking for somebody man to motivate you, inspire you, and just help you get to your goals, man, to your fitness and to your health goals in life, I'll be, a, I'll be a perfect candidate, man. I'll be a perfect person for you because I know how we've been, I've been through it. You know what I mean? I've been through it, man. I know how it is to be a fat person. I know how it is to be an obese person. So if you're going through any type of weight struggle in your life, and you need a reliable person, a reliable person, a reliable person to be around you, to speak to you on a daily basis, and financially you could afford that service. I'm your guy, man. I'm definitely your guy. I could help you in the gym. Even if you have a home, a home gym like me right now, I'm working out in my home. You know what I mean? If you like to go to the gym, if you have a home gym, you'd rather just work out at your home, whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable with, but you have to work out. You know, exercising is very good for your mind. Working out, weight resistant training is very good for your mind. Cardio is very good for your mind. You know, calisthenics, which is just working out with your body weight. Each and every type of, each and every form of exercise is good, very, very good for your brain. It's very good for your mind. So. My advice to people out there, man, no matter what you're going through, make time to take care of your well-being. Make time to take care of yourself, you know what I mean? And by taking care of yourself, include at least, at least 20 minutes, three times a week towards exercise. At least 20 minutes, three days per week towards some form of exercise. It could be just 
cardio, getting on treadmill, just walking, running, getting on elliptical, getting on a bike, just cardio. You could go to the park, go outside, go for a walk. You know, you could get into the weight room. You know, get into the weight room, do some, do some weight resistant training. Very good for your body. It's very good for your joints. It's very good for your muscles. Very good, you know. Or you could just do some calisthenics, just work out with your body weight. You could just like this, you could do push-ups, you know what I mean? Do push-up, push-up your body weight. You could do pull-ups, pull up your body weight. You could dip your body weight, you know what I mean? Do a lot of core exercise, your stomach, work on your stomach. And there's a lot of things you could do towards bettering your health. There's a lot of exercises you could do, man. And exercising, just exercising and being... You know, being active, working out is, it's at least 20 to 25% of a healthy lifestyle, man. I'll say that every time, because it's facts. Working out is 25, 20 to 25% of a healthy lifestyle. 75 to 80% comes from the food that you eat. I'm gonna always say that, because it's a fact. 75 to 80% of a healthy, happy lifestyle is the food. It all comes down to the food that you're eating on a daily basis. It's all come down to it, man. The food manufacturers don't give a fuck. They just have the profits. They don't give a shit what they put in the food. Once they just care about the taste. Put whatever you want in the food. Once it tastes, it tastes good. It doesn't matter. They're gonna bite. Put whatever chemical. Put whatever garbage. They're gonna bite. Just make sure it tastes good. The food industry. The, the food industry don't care. They don't care if you're a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds. They could give a fuck less. So it's all upon you. It's all gonna be down to you making the right choices. What you put in your mouth to eat on a daily basis. It's all up to you, man. say it all the time man losing weight is very easy losing weight is easy it doesn't take it doesn't take hard work to lose weight meaning that you don't have to work out six seven days a week no, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to you can work out three days per week 20 minutes every time you work out just 20 minutes literally it all comes down to the food you know, you don't have to be in the gym five, six days, seven days a week to lose weight. How's no dude? You could see dramatic changes in your body. You could see dramatic change in your body, man, by just eating right. By just eating clean, staying away from processed, staying away from fried, staying away from chemical stuff. Just having a clean diet, man, staying away from sugary stuff. You know, you could just have a clean diet, staying away from sugar, staying away from fry stuff, staying away from bro, I'm telling you. You could clean your diet up and within 60 to 90 days, man, you'll start seeing incredible, incredible changes in your body. Within 60 to 90 days, if you change your diet, you change your eating habits, you could see drastic changes in your body within 60 to 90 days. It's easy to lose weight. It is very easy. I say it all the time, man. You don't have to work out seven days a week to lose weight, no. Because even, even, if, even if you're working out six, seven days a week, but you're still eating garbage, it's not necessarily to mean that you're gonna lose weight. You will get stronger, absolutely. If you're, if you're doing weight resistant training, if you're lifting weights six, seven times per week, every day, you're gonna get strong, but you're not gonna cut the fat. You know, so if your goal is to just get strong, eat whatever you want, go for it. But if you're out there and you want to cut weight, you want to go down size, you have to be very cautious what you eat. You have to. That's that's the most important thing. You know what I mean? You could, you could work out as much as you want, but if you're eating garbage, if you're eating bad food, 
you're not going to see the result. You're not going to see the result in your body. Your weight is not going to decrease if you're eating garbage food and working out every day. You're, gonna, you're definitely going to get stronger. That's a fact. You're going to get really strong. But you're not going to lose the weight. You're not going to cut weight. If you want to cut weight, you have to watch the food that you put in your body. That's the most important thing. You know, if you want to cut weight, you don't have to lift weights every day. If you want to cut body size, you don't have to be in the gym seven days. Just watch what you eat. Be cautious of what you eat at least six days per week. Even if one day you eat bad stuff, or it's whatever, you're, you're a normal human being. If one, one once a week, you want to go for some garbage fast food, that's whatever. But out of the seven days a week per week, at least six days, you got to eat clean, man. You got to stay away from processed food. You have to stay away from the sugary food, the sugary drinks. Those drinks that they give to little kids and people, oh my God. Those drinks, it's ridiculous how much sugar those drinks be having. In, but oh my God. How many grams of processed sugar did these people put in those drinks? It's unbelievable. Do you ever watch the label of sodas? Do you know how many different chemicals it takes to make a two liter bottle of soda? Do you know, do you have any, <laughs> do you have any idea how much different goddamn chemicals they put in a two liter soda to give to people to drink? It's just ridiculous, dude. So you stay away from those things for at least 60 to 90 days and you'll see incredible change. You'll see incredible change in your body, man. gotta be people say all the time be when you're trying to lose weight be active like constantly move you don't necessarily you don't really have to do that if you're not the type of person that like moving around constantly like walking around I'm not saying sit down all day don't sit down sitting down is terrible if you want to eat I like standing up and eat dude I don't even like sitting down like sitting down is terrible terrible dude you know, so standing up, walking around is way better for your body in the long run. You know, sitting down does a lot of terrible things to your body. And the older you get is when you're gonna start realizing the bad things that comes with sitting all the time, being on your couch, being on the chair, like it's terrible. So more you could actually be active by like walking around, moving around, is better for your long-term job. It's better for your long-term jeopardy. It's always better to do that, but that moving around and stuff like that, it's part of your weight loss. You know, it's mainly the food, man. It's mainly the food. So if you're somebody out there that's struggling to lose weight, that's, you know, struggling to go down in size, every time you lose 10 pounds, you gain 20 pounds. Every time you lose 20 pounds, you gain 50 pounds. You know, if you were one of those people out there and you're looking for somebody, man, to really, really help you stick to a clean diet for the rest of your life. I'm that guy, man, because I'm I'm one of the people that actually been through it. You know, me sitting here in front of you, this was not always my parents. My parents I used to be very obese. I used to be very, very fat. You know, so if I could do it, if I change my life to what I'm to what I am right now, anybody could do it. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do it, man. It just, you just take courage. You just take courage to get up and get things done. You know, it takes courage from going from eating junk, from eating sugary shit, from eating fried food every day, from eating processed food every day. So it, it takes courage to go from that lifestyle to at least to come over to every day to eat clean food for at least six days a week. You know what I mean? Eating clean meaning that eating what God put for us on the earth before we was born. 
eating the stuff that was grown in in soil, not soil that's contaminated with a bunch of chemicals. Now I'm talking about regular soil, regular dirt, the things that was grown in regular dirt before we was even, before we was even born. Those are the things you have to eat. Vegetables are a must. Vegetables in your diet for the rest of your life is a must. It's a must, dude. You know, it's a must. Whatever vegetables you like, eat it, bro. You know, it's it's a must. Fruits, natural fruits. See, a lot of these companies out there right now, you know, it's the, the juice bars. You know, this play, these things are making lots of money. And I'm, I'll be wondering how people go in there and buy those juice bars from those, those juice. Like, it's all sugary shit. They put in so many different sugary shit in one drink. It doesn't matter if it's fruits, regardless. If the, the sugar content in that juice is high, eventually you're drinking too much, you're using too much sugar. It doesn't matter if you're in a diet and you're like, oh, let me go to one of the juice bars and get me a juice, get me a shake, get me a, no, dude, get me a protein shake. It's all of those things that they put in the fucking drinks to make it sweet and taste good. A lot of shit like that is just not, it's not natural, it's not good. You know, get you a blender, get regular fruits. Blend the fruits, whatever fruits you like. You know, put it in a blender, three, four different fruits, blend it up. Don't use nothing else. Just fruits, you could use milk or you could use water. Me, I use water. I have two blenders. And every time I'm blending something to drink fruit-wise, I'll just cut up the fruit, wash it first, cut it, cut it up, put it in a blender with water. That's it. Let it blend up, drink it. Simple and plain. I'm not putting no honey in my drink. Not putting a fucking apple juice, no on house, no. Just natural fruits, blend it, drink it. Simple and plain. You know, those fruit balls, those fruit, those fucking juice places, it's a waste, bro. If you're trying to lose weight, stay away from those places. Those just those, those fresh juice and all that bullshit, the amount of sugar they're using. They they're using oh we're using natural honey. But yet you're mixing honey with, with apple juice, you're mixing honey with different sweet with different sweetness. You know, you're using honey, but yet you're still using banana. Banana by itself is already sweet. You're using honey, you're using banana, you're using apples, you're using pineapple. All of those things are already contained sugar, natural sugar, yes. But if you put too much of those same fruits together, the sugar content will be too high. So you have to think about that. You have to think about, regardless if it's natural sugar or not, yes, natural sugar is healthy sugar, but still, if you're drinking and consuming too much sugar in general, it's no good for your body. In general, if you're drinking and consuming a high amount of sugar, it's not good for your body. It's, it's really not. If you're looking for somebody to be on the journey with you, I'm your man seven days a week, man. If you could afford the service of somebody's constantly with you, and when they're not with you, you could always call them to keep you motivated, to keep you inspired, to keep on your journey. I'm your guy, man. I'll help you in the gym, I'll help you with your prep and your food, I'll keep you positive, I'll keep you motivated. I'll keep you inspired every single day to want to be better, to want to achieve more. You know, I'll be one of those guys. So if you really could afford it, if that's something that you could include in your budget on a weekly basis, just connect with me through DMs, message, or through my email. In the bottom of the video, you can catch my email, you can catch order that you could message me on the videos, I'm not hard to find, man. Just let's connect. Let's have this conversation and see exactly what you want to do, how far you know, how far you want to take this, this, this weight loss journey. You know, for me, this is a lifelong commitment. And if you're going to get involved in losing weight and living a healthy life, 
It has to be a lifelong commitment you make to yourself. You can't go back to being unhealthy. You know, if you decide to really get up and change your life, do it and do it for the long run. Don't do it just for a month. Oh, let me look good for the summer. After the summer pass, just start eating junk again. No, just do it forever. You know, make it become a part of your life on a daily basis. You know, every single day make being healthy and living healthy a part of your life every day, man. I'm living example. You know, close to six years ago, I changed, completely changed my life and decided to start working out. My weight, my heaviest weight was 390 something pounds. I was close to 400 pounds. Going to visit my doctor three, four times per year. And I had to make the decision. You know, I, it all came down to me. Even my doctor was telling me for years, I have to lose weight, I have to, you know, change my diet, I have to change this, change that, but still, I didn't really pay attention. I used to just go to the office, get my blood work, everything, just my blood pressure to the roof, my cholesterol, my, oh, so forget it, dude. My health problems was crazy, crazy bad, you know what I mean? So I had to honestly take it upon myself to make the change, and I did it. You know what I mean? Almost six years, I've been on the right path, and I'm, I'm gonna stay on the right path, because now I love it. You know, I don't think about the days when I used to be obese. I don't think about the days when I used to be a fat dude, can't even run, can't walk for more than 10 minutes. I don't think about those days. You know, now I could run for over an hour. You know what I mean? I could run as long as I want to run. I could run until I, I'm honestly ready to just stop. Not because I'm tired, it's just because I've been running for so long, it's time to stop. Tomorrow's another day. You know, so I could walk for as long as I want to walk. I stop when I feel like stopping or I st I stop when I get to my destination. It's different now. You know what I mean? I don't have to walk for 10 minutes and take 10 minute break and then start walking again, no. Now, I'm at the point in my life where I could walk forever. And I thank God for giving me the ability and giving me the strength to be who I am now. But if I could do it, you could do it, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, nothing in life is easy. Nothing, absolute nothing in life is easy, man. We just dropped a clothing brand on Amazon for a little less than four months. Approximately four months we dropped our clothing brand on Amazon, guys. And this is actually what we have in our store for now. And we have more things that's gonna be added to, to our inventory very soon. This is the Ambrose brand t-shirt. This is the black. As you can tell, I'm wearing the white. It's on Amazon right now. I want to say thank you very much for The brand also has hoodies. They have it in black and they have it in gray. Go pick you up one of the hoodies, guys. It comes with four pockets. You have two pockets on the outside and then you have two pockets conveniently stashed away on the inside of your hoodies. There you go guys, I also want to take the time to say thanks very much once again man, to the Ambrose brand that's currently on Amazon.com Nothing in life comes easy that work that's worth anything Anything that you're doing towards a better life, anything that you're, that you're doing to become a better version of yourself is going to take work It's going to take work man and it's going to take hard work, it's going to take dedication it's going to take courage, you know what I mean? You have to have the courage to change yourself. You have to have the courage to stay away and change the people that you surround yourself with. You have to have that courage to say goodbye to certain people. You know, you have to have the courage to stand on your own. You have to have that courage to face the obstacles that's going to come towards you. You know, you have to have the courage, man. You have to have the courage to move on, to move forward. 
when things are coming to you, when things, when you, when you're facing challenges, when you're facing trials, when you're facing obstacles, you need the courage to keep fighting through. You need it, bro. <laughs> you need the courage to say, even to your family members, because said you, you need the courage to even tell your family members, I'm on a different path. I don't have time to hang out. I don't have time to be drinking. I don't have time to be doing drugs. I don't have time to go out partying. I don't have time for this. You have to build that courage even tell your friends, your family members, I don't have time for that no more. You know, my life, I want to change. I want to become a different person. It takes courage, man. It takes a lot of courage, you know. So anything, anything that you're doing towards a better life is going to come with obstacles. A hundred percent is going to come with obstacles, man. But when the obstacles come, ladies and gentlemen, you tough it out. You tough it out, man. You don't... You know, you tough it up, you don't back down, you don't bitch out, or you know, why me? Why do I have to go through this? Listen, everybody who is looking towards a better life have to go through the obstacles, especially those that's not coming from a wealthy background. People like me in this world to come from the bottom, to climb the ladder of success is extremely hard, but I don't look I don't look at life and make excuses, no. I don't look at my circumstances and make excuses. I know it's not easy for me to accomplish a successful life. I know it's not easy for me to accomplish financial freedom. I know it's not easy, but it's possible. And that's all I hold on to, the possibility. I don't hold on to the negative part of it. Oh my God, it's gonna take me forever. It's going to be so complicated. No, hell no. I don't think about the negative part. I'm just thinking about, you know what? It's a possibility that I could accomplish financial freedom. That's it. And I'm going to do as much as I can on a daily basis to accomplish financial freedom. Because without it, you're just another human being that's coasting through life. You know what I mean? I honestly think by working for people and being employed by somebody else, it's a waste of your life. It's a waste of your potential. I'm not saying don't get a job. Get a job and save and put money into things that could better you down the road. But working for people for 20 years, working for somebody else for 30 years, working for a company for 40 years, what? In those 40 years, the people that gave you the job, the people that you was working for, they done had a hundred different cars, brand new cars. They don't went on a million vacations with their families. They don't went to every country in the world, 190 something country. They don't travel to every country in the 40 years you've been there in their company. And you only went on vacation one time. In the 40 years, you still don't have a car. You still can't even afford to have your own car because you're living paycheck to paycheck. Why is these people are living life to the fullest? Why they're taking the family on vacations every two, three months? They're traveling out the United States five, six times a year. Why is you get a vacation once a year? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's how you gotta think, man, you know? So you have to be able to have the courage to go beyond what you're accustomed to. 
You know, you have to have that courage, man, to do something that you've never done before. Because if you want to change your life, you have to do things that you never did. If you want to become a different person, you have to start doing things that you never dreamt that you could accomplish and you could have be a part of. You have to just start being a different person, doing different things. Because if you do the same thing every single day, for the past 10 years you've been doing the same thing and it hasn't taken you to nowhere. He hasn't taken you to close to becoming financial stable. He hasn't taken you nowhere at all. So you know you have to change things around. You have to do different things. You know, like, it's not gonna be easy, man. For instance, me, I never been somebody who thought that I could have been a part of a brand, a clothing brand. I never thought. You know, now we build a company and now we're actually on Amazon. You know, we have our own store on Amazon. For the past four months, the store hasn't been doing good, but we are on Amazon. You know, you only been four months, but we are here. You know, now we just have to take it to the next level. It wasn't easy to, it wasn't an easy journey to be on Amazon, but we stuck it through. You know, we stuck it through and we just kept pushing. It was a lot of obstacles. It was a lot of red tape that we had to go through. It, was, it wasn't easy, you know, so it wasn't meant to be easy. You know, now we are actually on the platform that we wanted to be on. Now we just have to overcome and, and make our business into a success. I don't think about the competitions. Your life is always going to be competition. You know, I don't think about the competition. I wish the best for the competition. It's us versus us. We are our biggest we could be our biggest supporters or we could become our biggest enemies. That's how life works. You have to be your number one supporter. It doesn't matter who, is, who else is willing to support you and cheer you on. You have to become that person. You have to be the number one supporter of, support of whatever you do in life. You have to support yourself in every which way, shape and form. Don't never, don't never ever decide to take shortcuts. Don't never decide, don't never ever decide to hate and be spiteful to your competition. Don't never ever decide to become a hateful person to anybody that's doing something to the better of life. Don't do it. Competition, we all have competition, but just focus on what you have to do. Focus what you have to do and stick with what you have to do. Stay in your own lane. You know, build the courage to do what you have to do for yourself. You know, be around people that's like-minded like yourself. You know, be a part of a team. But don't be a part of a big, big team. Be a part of a small group of people. Very small group of people. Two, three, four people. That all share similar goals. That all share goals to want to have a better life. That's all coming from the bottom. And want to grow into better things in life. Be around people that want to be the first person. <clears throat> be around people that want to be the first person in their family. To achieve financial stability so that everybody else could be happy. Your nephews, your nieces, if you have kids, your kids don't have to grow up the same way your family was brought up. Your kids don't have to grow up the same way you was brought up struggling. That's why it's very important to build stuff towards a good future. At the beginning, it's always hard. <laughs> At the beginning of everything you do for a better life, it's always going to be hard. That's if you don't want to lose weight, the first two, three months is going to be very hard. But if you keep doing it, it's going to become easier and easier and easier. That's just life. If you want to stop eating garbage food and start eating clean, the first two months is going to be, it's going to be real tough for you. Because you've been for years eating trashy food, fast food, processed food, sugary food, and now you want to change your life to start eating clean. Do it for the first two, three months. It's gonna be, it's gonna, it's, you're gonna go through hell. But if you stick with it, after three months, guarantee you, everything else will, is gonna, everything else is just gonna fit into place. The longer you go, is more and more, it becomes better for you. The longer you push through the obstacles, the longer you, you push through the hard times, the hard days, things are bound to be, things are bound to become easier for you. You just have to stick through it, man.
good. That's, that's what it is, man. You gotta have the courage. You have to build the courage, and it all starts from within you, man. You see this right behind me? This is a tagline to our brand that's currently on Amazon right now. Our tagline is basically saying that everything is possible in life when you believe in yourself. And it's, it's a tagline that we we have so much confidence in that we, we, we trademark the tagline to our company. Because we honestly think that if you don't believe that you have the, the if you don't believe within yourself that you have what it takes to accomplish your dreams and to accomplish your goals, it's not gonna happen. If you don't have the self-belief, if you don't have the self-confidence to know that you could do this stuff, that you could lose the weight, that you could become the first person in your family to become financially stable, that you could build a business from scratch to watch that business become successful. If you know you have that within you, nothing could break you. Nothing could break you, dude. Because you know that from you know that you have that from within you. You know once you believe in yourself, the obstacles are gonna come. The hard times are gonna come, dude. No matter what you're venturing into for a better life, you're going to face obstacles. You're going to face hard times. The road towards success and the road towards a better life is not paved evenly, is not paved smoothly. They're going to come bumpy days. They're going to be bumpy lanes. They're going to be tossed. They're going to be turns. It's, it's not meant to go straight. They're going to be tossed, turns all over the place. They're going to be bumps. The road is not paved to go straight. It's not. When you're on the road to a successful life, to, to, be, the number, to be the one person in your family, when you're on the road to be the one person in your family, to become a successful person, it's not... That road is not meant to be an easy ride, man. <laughs> it's going to come a lot of turns, a lot of twists, a lot of bumps, a lot of obstacles, bro. It's, going to, it's not going to be easy. But you have to know that once you have it from within, knowing that you could accomplish this task, nothing, nothing could stop you, bro. Because you know it from within. You know that you could accomplish it because you believe that you could accomplish it. You don't need other people to tell you, to hold your hand, to motivate you. You know from within that you could accomplish this shit. So when the obstacles come, you're going to face the obstacles head on. Me, I know for a fact that I'm going to be a part and watch this business grow from where it's at now to becoming a household name. I'm going to stick it out to making our brand that's currently on Amazon become a household brand. I believe that in my heart. I believe that in my soul. I'm going to stick it out. I'm willing to stick out and go through every hard days that comes before us. Every hard days we have to fight. Every hard days we have to go through. Every stressful days that's going to come, I'm willing to keep going. I'm not going to make nothing stop me. I'm going to keep praying to God and family for guidance, for the strength, and I'm going to keep pushing. Every single day God and family gives me life, it's another day to do something for the better of my life every day. You have to feel the same way. You have to have that same feeling, that same mentality that every single day that God gives you another day, you have to do something for the better of yourself. Don't take every day for granted because you never know what could happen tomorrow. Don't take advantage of people. Don't hurt people to get ahead in life. Don't stab people in the back. Don't manipulate people. Don't do bad to others to get ahead in life. Because you will never enjoy success. It's going to be temporary. When you do bad to other people to get ahead, it's not permanent success. It's temporary success. Eventually, you're going to go all the way back down farther from where you originally started. And that's if you get the opportunity to go back down. Sometime, it will just end for you right there. Don't take shortcuts, man. Work towards it. Earn it. You know, get up, put in the work. When you get to your destination, <laughs> you're gonna look back and be like, damn, I can't believe I had the strength to overcome all those things. I, could, I can't believe God gave me that strength to overcome all the obstacles I had to overcome to get to where I am right now. Think about that, man.
When you, when you work hard to accomplish a task, the, the feeling that you feel, the feeling that you get when you did something that you bust your ass to accomplish, the feeling of success is unbelievable. Anybody out there that tell me if I'm wrong, anything that you have done in your life that you actually bust your ass to accomplish, how good it feels when you finally accomplish it. The feeling is you can't explain, it's unexplainable. You can't explain that feeling. Everything that I have done in my life that's been a challenge for me, I, I'm one of those people that will never quit. I don't ever give up on anything that I've done, that I've done and that I'm currently doing now. I'm not one of those people that quit on anything. Everything I do, I give it my all. So everything that I have done in the past that was hard for me, complicated for me, and I actually did it, I stuck through it, I kept with it, and I actually accomplished it, the feeling is, I can't explain the feeling. It's such a high, you're, you're, you're up in the sky, you're so happy. You're so happy that you accomplished this because you worked your ass off to get it. You know, finally you got it, like, yes, I got it. And I got it without doing any bad to anybody. I accomplish it without hurting people, without doing any bad things to anybody. I accomplished it, yes. The feeling, it's unbelievable. So if you're out there and you never had that feeling, work hard to accomplish what you're currently working on right now. Keep working to accomplish whatever you're, whatever you're currently doing and you're going through, whatever obstacles you're currently fighting to get what you deserve and to get what you actually want out of life, keep fighting. Keep fighting because I promise you, when you get through all these obstacles, when you accomplish this goal, when you accomplish this task, you please message me and let me know how you feel. Because I've done been through it and I know for a fact you're on cloud nine, you're, you're up there, you're high in the sky with joy, with happiness, with gratitude. You know, because you always have to be grateful to God and his family for helping you go through those tough days because believe it or not, without, bro, without faith, a lot of things for me would not be accomplishable. I would not be able to accomplish anything I set out to accomplish without my strong faith in God and his family. Me, I have very strong faith in God and his family. So everything I do, I don't never quit. I just know that going through it is going to be hard. It's going to be tough, but I know for a fact, God and his family is watching over me every step of the way. They're watching over me every step of the way, man. And I pray. I pray every day. I pray two, three times a day. I pray every before I eat. I always pray just to say thanks to God and his family. I don't ask for wealth from God and his family. I don't pray for wealth. I pray for health, for successful future, successful, healthy, happy future. I don't pray, please God, 
Give me a million dollars. Please, God, let me give me wealth. No. I want to earn my wealth. All I need to know, God and family is going to watch over me. They're going to protect me. They're going to guide me. And all I have to do is just get up and put in the work. That's all I have to do is get up and put in the work. You need faith. You need faith in a higher power. I truly believe in God with all my heart, body, and soul. I truly, honestly believe in God with all my heart, body, and soul. I am being protected. I am being guided through all the storms that I'm going to face with God and his family watching over me every single step of the way. I truly believe that with all my heart, body, and soul. If you out there, you don't believe in a higher power, you don't believe in somebody is watching over you, it's going to be a struggle for you for a long, 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 long time. Because you need faith. You need faith to go through the battles. You need faith to go through the obstacles that you're going to face. You need faith, bro. <laughs> you need faith. You need to know that God and his family is there with you. All you have to do is just keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep moving. That's it. That's the reason why I will never do bad to people to get to my destination. That's the reason why, because I don't have to hurt other people. I don't have to be jealous of other people. I don't have to be spiteful to my competitions. No. I all, all I have to do is get up and put one foot in front of the other every single day. And eventually my time is gonna come. You wish good for everybody. If in your competition, you wish good for everybody. You don't never wish bad upon people. You never do that. You always cheer people on. You always sincerely tell people, God bless you. I hope and wish the best for you. Sincerely. Always. Always be kind. Always be respectful. Always be grateful, man. Always. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for hanging out with me, man. God bless every one of us all over the world. Guys, please, ladies and gentlemen, please make every decision you make. Make God and his family a part of your decision making every single day. Please always be kind, always be respectful, always be grateful. Always be courteous to each other. Until next time we see each other, man. God bless. Take care. Stay safe. And always keep love and joy and peace in your heart. Always. Till next time, guys. Salute.